ان المتقين في مقام نمين في جنات وعيون يلبسون من سندس واستبرق متقابلين Brothers and sisters, I'm sure you've been watching as I have the unfolding horror that's going on in Al-Aqsa Masjid and the entire compound in Palestine, East Jerusalem. Yeah, there I said it, Palestine, East Jerusalem, the whole of Jerusalem in Palestine. How do you like that? Bam! Listen, how would the world react if any other religion were being gunned down in cold blood, over 500 injuries so far in their holiest days of their holiest months. Some of them whilst in prayer. We have the footage going live. Mm, not on some of the mainstream media, of course, who call it clashes, as if a child at 4 a.m. who's in prayer is clashing with a man who's being armed by the United Kingdom and the United States with some of the heaviest artillery available in the world. That's not a clash, that's an attempted massacre. That is a persecution and an oppression. And we, the Muslims of the world, and all people of conscious, uh, consciousness and conscience, we must oppose this. Palestinian brothers and sisters, we are with you. We stand with you. We will not forget. We will not take the pressure off this. And we will not be silenced by the social media taking down our websites, taking down some of the good material out there. And I call upon you, brothers and sisters, for action. You know when you go on holiday to the UAE and you send your glammy pics and, oh, here I am, it's so lovely. Just know this. That normalization process that's happening between Israel and the UAE is directly involved in what's happening in your Al-Aqsa Mosque right now. And here's something else to consider. By the grace of Allah, not one Salah, not one prayer would have been able to have been made in the last 70 years in Al-Aqsa except for this sacrifice of our Palestinian brothers and sisters. Yeah, that's right. Your granddad went. Maybe you went a couple of years ago. Alex is so nice. Oh my gosh, I cried in Sajud. How did you get there? Did you have an hour at a checkpoint and moan about it? You know how you got in at all? Because the Palestinians endure 12 hours, 13 hours persecution, home, homes being uh, forcibly taken from them and they're being evicted and thrown into the streets. Stun grenades thrown at them as they pray. So you and I, by the grace of Allah, can get to Al-Aqsa. They're on a Fad Kafaya, brothers and sisters. No more UAE is great. Forget it. There's evidence now in news reports that, that the UAE are sending people to persuade Palestinians in Jerusalem to sell their homes and then they're passing them on to Israeli settlers. And you tell me about your holiday shots in UAE. I'm not interested. I don't want to see them. Astaghfirullah Azim, BDS, boycott, divestment, sanctions, it works. And Biden, please don't tell us about your concern. We really don't care. And as for the United Nations, again, you know, a kind of shrug or what can you do? Facts on the ground, shame on you. We'll do this ourselves, inshallah. Palestine will be free. Palestinians, we're with you, brothers and sisters, 100%. May Allah Ta'ala give you the strength, the reward, and the resilience to carry on. Allahu Akbar, in these blessed days, remember Palestine, and remember the blood of the believer is worth more than bricks and mortar. Assalamu alaikum.